Right guys, uh, okie dokie, let's have a go at 8. y equals 1 minus 3x minus 2e to the x. Everything's on ground level, so it should be fine just to differentiate it by running along the row, term by term. The first thing's a constant, so that goes to 0. Minus 3 lots of x, which goes to 1. Minus 2 lots of e to the x, which goes to e to the x. There we go. What's the differentiation done? All we need now to do is just tidy the thing up. So we get minus 3, minus 2 e to the x, yeah? Now we input the value at x equals 0 0.3 there. So let's evaluate the derivative of that value. Minus 3 minus 2 e to the x, we can write down. Now our input value, we're obviously in x on the right hand side. Uh, we need to overwrite that with 0 0.3, isn't it? There we go. Just put it in there. Now just get our calculator then. Tap that out on the calculator. So we've got minus 3 minus 2 times shift ln which is the exponential button 0 0.3 move the cursor on into down uh, onto ground level which i like to do plus equals that's minus 5.6 now oh it's a bit of a pain uh oh oh we got 6997 we'll just put that in here because i'm going to change it that seven would make that round up because it's in the 3dp that would be 699 up to 700 so it's minus 5.700, and that would be to 3dp, wouldn't it? A little bit awkward, that one. But it's because it notched it up to a 10, and then another 10, so you can view it as 699. The 7 rounds up to a, to a 10, which would make 699 go to 700, wouldn't it? The next digit up. So minus 5.700 to three decimal places is the answer for question seven. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one, then, because that was a bit of a palaver, wouldn't it? Great.